on everybody this is david die with rock hard live the leaders in band interviews and live footage shows in sacramento i'm sitting here with the awesome guys of white knuckle riot Woo! <laughs> and today they're doing a great uh, event here for the local kids in the community they're doing a great local thing you know they're they're raising uh easter baskets around uh dimple records and uh you know the low price insanity deals you save money you shop over here at dimple records this is where it's at quit paying thirty dollars for blu-rays and dvds when you can come over here and pay half the price <laughs> anyways we're over here raising uh Easter baskets today, guys, right? You guys are accepting all the donation for uh, the, the all the kids that are in need and uh, the kids that can't, uh, uh, the families that can't afford uh, Easter baskets. You guys are doing a great job. You set up a tent out here and you guys are collecting the baskets. Tell me about that, guys. Basically, we just wanted to give back to the community for, uh, you know, giving to us so much that's been going on lately. We're actually uh, getting a lot of uh, good feedback. So we just wanted to give back because we're all pretty much from the streets anyway. And so we know what it's like to not have, you know, Easter and stuff. Not to mention I was, no, Joe, no, yeah, no, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that, that's what, that's all we're doing it for. We just want to get back and hopefully help some other kids to to have a better Easter and some fun. Or to motivate them to be in a band. <laughs> yeah, we want to get Ryan, uh, our manager over there, Rob, put this together and uh, it's for a good cause, I think it's for, uh, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, um, it's for a different St. John's, John's Woman's Shelter, Shelter women and, 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 and what? Battered, Battered children. children. And so, I mean, it's definitely a good cause. And um, hopefully it gives back to the community because we know a lot of churches and things around here do good things for causes and we want to help back, you know, give back to all that and everything. So, anyway. Yeah, you know, uh, you know, the kids these days, you know, I mean, that, that's our future, you know, and it comes down to music stuff. I'm the youngster in the band, so, you know, uh, I can actually appreciate something like this, you know, coming from, you know, a badass band like us, you know. But <laughs> no, no, really, though, it, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's really cool that we're, you know, doing special shit like this for the kids and stuff. It's, it's important, man. It really is important that we, uh, you know, hold on to, you know, festivities and shit like this. So, uh uh, I definitely, I'm down to do this. some baskets of money. Baskets? Yeah, yeah, I did. No, seriously, though, man. It, Me, y'all. It's helping them out, right? Yes. Yep. Any, any help and everything that we can do for these kids' yeah, stuff is so greatly appreciated. I think they can donate it there, too, right? That'll be next week. Yeah, we'll be out at uh, the Roseville Dimple. Yep. Uh, same day, same time. And a week after that, we're going to be at the Arden Dimple. And there might be some special things going on there, too. You definitely want to make it out to that. Yep. And, you know, just as a band, some of us actually have kids. And we all have have families. And it's really important to us as a band. It's like the family uh, dynamic, the family uh, mindset. And it's very, us as a band is a family. We are a family. And we just want to spread that and, and give as much as we can back to the family that is helping helped us, which is Sacramento. That's right. Oh, yeah. So, so I want to get down to the basics. So basically, uh, Cameron Wright, can you do me a favor and tell me uh, what your name is personally and what you do in the band so we can get a little bit of communication with uh, everybody and start the process and let them know who you are. All righty. Uh, my name is Corey Hardcore Born. I am the rhythm guitarist for White Knuckle Riot. Um, Kyle Jissaw Riot, and uh, I play drums. I'm Johnny Schizo, but Jeremiah Ferguson is my real name, and I sing in the band. I'm the bass player, Jake Ferguson. <laughs> I'm not. We have another guitarist too, but he's not here right now. But Robert Tarrant. But uh, yeah. Let's, yeah where is he? Shout he's to Robbie. Not doing too good today. Oh, doing good. he got a boo boo. <laughs> oh, he had a boo boo. I was gonna say, man. I was gonna say, you know, some of those people, they're camera shy. They're they don't want no part of these interviews. <laughs> He'll help with the community, but he's like, nah, keep me in the back. So we're gonna pretend he's standing in between the two guys right here in the middle. There you go. <laughs> we'll CGI him right here on my lap. <laughs> <laughs> right? I like that. We can do we can make that happen too. Hey, he, he would appreciate it, trust me. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, I wanted to know what you guys were going on recently. I mean, because I you know I'm not too familiar. So tell me and tell the fans that are, you know, we're gonna watch the show on TV, you know, what you guys have been doing lately, where your backgrounds came from and give, give us some info. <laughs> well I'm well obviously I'm Jake. Uh, I used to play in the band The Grumpy as for some background and then uh, we also, my brother and I used to play in a band called Brace Train Schizo. Uh, 
quite a few years back. Yeah, that was a minute. That was a while ago. <laughs> yeah. Like like '99, right yeah, now. Yeah, come on, dude. But uh, <laughs> no. we uh, pretty much started this band yeah. about two years ago. Today is our two-year anniversary, and uh, based out of uh, Nevada City, and um, got together just to bring out a new, like we're trying to do our own style. Yeah. You know, try to bring a, a little bit heavier old school with the new, and uh, a yeah. little more politically minded. Not too hardcore, but. There is a movement. Yeah, we, we just uh, we got a message, but uh, other than that, yeah, we got a lot of shows coming up. We got one. Uh, what is it? April twenty fifth. We're doing uh, at the back nine. Got a lot of bands that are jumping on to help us out. We got uh, we're doing a uh, benefit show for uh, one of our friends that got leukemia. He's eight years old, so um, we're doing a benefit show for him. So we're trying to get a lot of support for that one to hopefully, you know, good turnout for the kid. You know. Then we got a uh, what May. May 8th, we got a show. Colonial with, Theater. Uh, Colonial Theater with uh, White Minorities. Uh, yeah. Took Slaves of Manhattan, which I love those guys. Those guys, we've done What's up? a few shows with them now. And then, uh, other than that, we're just trying to move forward and get, get it up the ladder, you know. Waiting for the record to get mastered. Yes, once the record's out, we should be good. Get it nice and fat. Hey, yeah. and, uh, what I was going to ask you was, do you guys have anything out right now, so, you, know, you know, as far as like an EP goes or any uh, merchandise? I'm not too, you know. Yeah, no, no, we're actually in the studio right now. The, the CD will be mastered at the end of this month and uh we finish our, our one of the last songs uh, on the 23rd of this month and then we, it's we promise too that's it yes, yes. <laughs> so, and then it's gonna go out and uh it'll be in distribution and, and uh published publicized whatever so yeah it's gonna be good nice nice and uh so basically if anybody goes to your shows can they pick up any merchandise right now you yeah, guys offering any t-shirts you, you gotta, gotta do it stuff. quickly man because we're running out all the time i don't even have a shirt man are you kidding me oh <laughs> is there right is there any there oh we yeah, do let's take a look at what you guys have it looks oh, like an, uh, can hey, you introduce us right there this this is the female shirt side we just Tempted we sold out of the um, other ones the white to the knuckle to the mother loving riot <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> our show. uh Sweet. Yeah. Freedom. Fucking A, Freedom. man. Freedom! Freedom. Freedom. <laughs> okay. Nah, these are the, the new girl shirts. We got the red and black and pink and black. Because uh, we sold out of the first uh, batch within uh, a week. Wow. So it was pretty cool. And then we went right into these ones. Shoot, we sold out so, of the batch within the one night. Yeah. And then uh, these are all through our uh, sponsors at Puck Authority. And then uh, our other sponsors at Connected Clothing. So they did our first round, which is over here. And we were out of those now. And then... Yep. Yeah, we're not wearing anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome, man. I mean, you guys got it going on. So if any of the fans want to go over there and pick up some of the merchandise that you guys seen, you guys yeah. can go to any of the shows. Uh, you guys are going to pick up some of the other merchandise, like you said, white to the motherfucking right. Yeah, yeah, we're going to get some more of those, man. We sold out of them really fast. It's yeah. crazy. Authority.com also. You can yeah, yeah, you can go to fuckauthority.com. Well, FCK. So yeah. fuck authority. But, uh, <laughs> and then uh, we actually have a new design going into works with Connected right now uh, with our new with our new logo that we just came out with. Well, that Rob put out. Those so, guys are really involved with the music scene too. Both those, yep. both fuck authority and, and fuck authority and um, connected clothing. They're both really, they're all like a lot of the rap scene, a lot of the rock scene. They're doing a lot for the music scene right yeah, now. It's really cool. You know, all together and start doing it's, they got they got a good good things going too, like causes that they're involved in and stuff. Yeah. And um, you know, I know that's one thing that. Me personally, like, there's a lot of things going on in the world that brings us all together. I think it's music, and, and it's like whether it's political or whether whatever it is. I mean, we have our own opinions, but we try. If there's a lot of changes I see going on in the world, oh, yeah. you know what I mean. And so that's what connects us musically. I think there's a lot of um, I don't know, maybe my views about it. I don't know, but anyway, yeah, connected and all that. Check into their website. So I wanted to uh, so ask you one more time. You guys are doing a sh your guys' next show is the show at the uh, Colonial Back, back Nine. Uh, well, we have the show April 25th at the uh, Back nine for the kid with leukemia oh, the April yes and then we do have a show may 8th uh at the colonial team yes nice and uh so the back nine one is the april 8th or uh, 25th sorry, the 25th okay and that one is with uh who are you guys playing in that show uh, actually, for the kids still booking all the bands hey uh do you know which bands are on there uh yeah, we got a country singer that's going to be on there. I can't remember her name, but we, we tried to look her up, but it doesn't pop up. So we're trying to get bands that want to get involved. Yeah. Um, we were going to do a White Minorities, but they had another benefit show that they had to do, and it was too many in a row. So we're, I'm still looking for bands. If anybody's interested, come talk to us because yeah. we need some bands. <laughs> so nice. Do you guys feel that you guys connected people in different genres? That's what I wanted to know. Yeah, actually, we got a, um, lately it's been really cool because... Uh, yeah, we just did a show with Hennessy, uh, Dylan Phillip, 
Uh, it was a couple rap genres and then ours and then Slaves of Manhattan, which the show went off with a hitch, man. It was crazy. It was a packed out show. Mm, oh yeah. And uh, the, the genre was just blended perfect. It was really, really cool, man. Like, yeah. Really cool. I, I've talked to like jazz musicians and stuff and like people of all kinds of different genres of, of music and style, you know, like no matter what, they, they get the groove aspect of it, you know, and there's a, is a good sense of rhythm. No matter what, music has rhythm, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, man, Brother Lynch, the rapper stuff. You know, I was hanging out with him. And he he loves our music. You know, what I mean, there, there's a lot of a lot of people like it and stuff. And I, you know, we always listen to the other bands' stuff. You know, we communicate, talk to them, stuff. It's cool. It's not like, you know? all, there's only a couple of songs that we do have that are political at all. You know what I mean, it's not like that's what we're all about. We do have a lot of different aspects of our band. You know, so. Hey, Sin, you guys just did a show with yeah, uh, yeah. Dylan Phillips, who's uh, up I'm for the man. Uh, Sammy's Awards. If you guys go and vote for Dylan music. Phillips, he's oh, yeah. in there for the MC of the Year on uh, Sammy's.com. Uh, yeah. Did they already announce the winners on it? Oh, okay. Don't tell us. March 26th, yeah, we just a couple of weeks away. Yeah. We're not, we don't take a look. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wear, wear a tuxedo shirt and put, I'm going to part my hair. So I, so I look formal, but I like to party, you know? So I wanted to ask you guys, though. You guys are in the uh, hard rock category or the heavy metal? I forgot uh, which hard one. Rock. Hard rock. Hard yeah. rock. That, with Fall Rise. Fall. So that's hey, going to be a good one. There we go. We weren't even expecting to get into this Those thing. Guys we weren't that, tripping, yeah. you know? It's not a big deal to us. But yeah. It's just really exciting to know that we're in it. And, and, and I seen that, and I seen that, and I told people on Facebook. I said, you know what? They won it last hard time. rock category. You know, no disrespect to the other people, but it's going to come down to Fall Rise, and uh, yeah. it's going to come down to white. Uh, I mean, white knuckle to the right. I almost said white minorities. <laughs> Shout out there to T Bone and his band. <laughs> I almost said it. So uh, yeah, it, it's going to. You guys are going to fall down to that category, and it's going to come down to you two. You know, and and and, yeah. and no, no disrespect to everybody, but if you guys want to vote, go to the Sammys.com and go. Yeah. Give them a vote, guys. Right. And throw a vote down here to White Knuckle Right, right? And maybe yeah. eventually White we'll be, hey, right. maybe we'll be on the same bill. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Just cut that part. <laughs> hey, I was going to say, I was going to say, we are on, t we're going to be on TV and the internet, oh, no. and people will hit us up and say, hey, oh, they said will. they'll do anything. <laughs> I said absolutely anything. Alpha Complex, Michael. What's going on, brother? <laughs> He's got the Easter basket and the eggs ready there. Yeah. Cool, man. Right on. I think it's an awesome cause. I support you guys. On your, uh, we support you guys in the music and the scene. Let me get a mic on. Yeah, I, was, I was just going to do it. It would be weird if we only see you live. Hi. <laughs> I'm going to be all like... Subtitles. <laughs> Overall. <laughs> man, going, on, McDonald. going much longer than a joke should go. Hata, hata, no, um, hata. We heard last Mike, night uh, from our boy Talk Rob over here. Uh, he came out to my karaoke and uh, said that you guys were doing this. I support you guys in, in all Thanks, the bro. all the scene and everything and uh, wanted to very much be a part of this. Uh, it's a great cause and we, we thank you guys for your big heart, you know? You. Thank you, bro. And thank you for being a part of the scene. Well, thanks for letting us be a part of it. Right, right? Awesome. Same to us. Thank you guys for letting us all be a part of it you know so hey we're glad that you're doing it with us and we're glad to have the interview with you man we're thankful if we didn't if we didn't have the interview with you guys and you guys we wouldn't have anything to do but just you know stare at the wall over here at Dimple Records. <laughs> but staring at the wall is always fun too especially when you take special candy yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thanks again michael this is uh with he's with the uh, alpha complex and the lead singer for moto grader actually i left moto grader but uh we'll just yeah and right on <laughs> rock on much love dude Still shout out to that band. Hell yeah. <laughs> right on, dude. Cool. Thank you, bro. Right on, guys. Hey, you guys can check out the band. Uh, Facebook, White Knuckle Riot. Reverb Nation, White Knuckle Riot. Instagram, WKR The Band. Twitter, WKR The Band. Follow them. Take pictures. Check them out. Um, we're everywhere else, too. If you want to hit us up on SoundCloud, band page, WordPress, yeah. we're out there. You can't find us. You're not looking in the right spot. <laughs> that's right. right. That's right. Right on. But, uh, thank you guys for having us, man, and thank yeah. you for all your support, too. Yeah. yeah, thank, thank you guys, guys for David everything. Dye, you're the man, brother. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.